Hey guys and welcome. Quick mailbag video here with an interesting twist. So first of all, you probably know that I pretty much consider Banggood the safest option to buy electronic parts and that's okay because I have like 100% positive experience with them. No, they are still not sponsoring me or something like that. It's just that I'm extremely satisfied so far. Anyway, there's always the chance that uh, something is not available on Banggood because it's not in stock or they just simply don't sell it or the price is not right because let's face it uh, they're not the cheapest option. So a few weeks ago I decided that I will need some parts which were not available on Banggood and I ordered them from a store I previously didn't know on AliExpress and while the mailbag was uh, on its way here, I decided that, okay, whenever it arrives, I will do a video and uh, it will be pretty much a quick review about the given seller. And furthermore, uh, every new mailbag that I will order will be from a different seller from AliExpress. So basically, we will end up with a series of uh, review videos about different sellers. This could be actually useful because uh, for some of you who are new to ordering stuff from China or buying electronic stuff or just simply don't trust sellers yet, this will be a pretty good uh, starting point because uh, I will just do it for you. I will just try the given seller, uh, provide info like how it is packaged. Actually, you will see because I will do the unboxing, of course. Uh, how it is packaged, how much time did it take to get here, um, in what condition was the package by the time it arrived. And I will also provide uh, quick feedback on the actual items it's, uh, themselves, like the quality, the internal packaging, missing parts probably, or something like that. And if something goes wrong, then I will just post updates on uh, how the seller handled the situation and so on. So for today, uh, we have a package from a seller called the, I hope it pronounced it well, uh, Dex Yang store. So let's see what's inside. And then I will share infos about the seller and the whole buying process and so on. Cool, so these are the contents of the package. Two RFID kits, a rain sensor, an ESP8266 node MCU, two larger PIR motion sensors, and the GSM module I've been waiting for, for the security system. As you can see, these are all packed inside anti-static bags, so kudos for that. Banggood doesn't do that, they just pack some of their stuff, but this is all packed, so looks real nice and I can't have a bad word for packaging. Now about the contents. RFID kits. These look pretty standard, they came with a card, with a badge, the sensor or uh, the, the unit itself the few pins, even some keychains or so I can put the badge on my together with my keys. So nice and everything. This is the rain sensor, just basically a surface where um, water can short these circuits and it will just generate a signal, nothing special. I have mixed feelings about this because uh, this works similarly like those uh, soil humidity sensors and those are um, reported to be easily corroded so I expect the same here but anyway this was so cheap that I couldn't resist just to try it out also my point is was just to order besides the GSM module uh, order some random stuff from this seller to see 
um, their quality, their uh, packing, and how long does it take to get here also. These are those larger PIR sensors I want to experiment with because uh, for the security system the current ones are while, while uh, normally and properly working they have a limited range and I really want to try out these as uh, this style of PIR sensor reported to have a larger range. Anyway we will see. This is the GSM module um, it is for accepting a SIM card and uh, you can uh, drive it with uh, Telnet-like commands and stuff like that and uh, you can initiate on the mobile stuff like sending SMS. This will be an integral part of the security system. And finally the last thing is this. So this is an ESP8266 uh, node MCU and it has all the usual stuff. It has a nice quality PCB or at least nice looking all the pins as usual, USB port, whatnot. But let me show you something. This thing is huge. I mean, this is the usual Node MCU I order from Banggood. I have a lot of these. Use it for various projects. And this is the one I ordered. This was actually a lot cheaper, but still, what the hell? <sighs> this is larger than an ESP32. Uh, also, as far as I understood the documentation, it has uh, a different uh, chip for USB connections, so probably we will need a different uh, driver uh, for Windows. Anyway, try it out and if any of these will not work, I assume them to be working because they are really simple components, but uh, if any of these do not work then, well, I will have a word with a seller or two. Okay. Yeah, this thing is huge. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot get my head over this. This is just funny. It's nice looking and all, but still huge. <laughs> Regarding transportation time, the seller was pretty quick and pretty polite. I mean, uh, they shipped it in two days and uh, on the second day I received a message from them that they are really feel sorry for uh, sh slower shipping than usual. Okay, I guess. Two days is just fine. Uh, AliExpress provides like uh, 12 days or something like that for sellers to ship the package. So they were way within the time period. And then uh, it took like 16 days to get here. So I guess that's fine. Uh, basically, according to AliExpress, uh, the package must arrive within 60 days. So again, they are way being below uh, the time limit. So all in all, I cannot say any bad word about this seller. I mean, unless the parts start failing, the packaging was fine, the price was damn fine, the transportation time was fine, they were polite, they have uh, excellent reputation, they've been open for like four years, I think, and they have an exquisite collection. I mean, a lot of stuff when it comes to electronics. So I will definitely buy more from them. So that's it, we are almost done. But uh, I decided that I cannot really uh, suggest a store without at least trying something. So I quickly hooked up that huge uh, Node MCU with uh, a random sensor that I uh, had on my desk. It was a DHT11 and uh, uploaded a sketch. And uh, it was an interesting turn because uh, actually the device, let me show this. 
not sure if it is visible to the camera, but let me read it anyway. So it says, point one, install the CH340G driver. Okay. And uh, turn out I didn't have to uh, install it, probably because I had it, but it's a pretty common driver. You can get it from the internet anyway. Then point two, use 9600 uh, sorry, uh, BPS bold rate for whatever reason. Then connect to Wi-Fi, which in this context didn't really make sense, but whatever. I think it means that uh, this is a Wi-Fi capable device, which is of course true. Okay, so I had, didn't have to install the driver, but let's assume I had to. Uh, then uh, I connect it to my PC via the USB cable, and it did connect successfully. Uh, the device appeared in uh, my Arduino ID instantly. I used uh, the DHT11 uh, DHT libraries uh, example called DHT tester, and uh, I set up uh, the pin which I connected the sensor to. Then uploaded the sketch with the usual settings. I used my Node MCUs, and it's working and it's fine. Let me show you a screenshot about that. Okay, so at least this one is working. Given that the, the other parts are pretty simple, except the GSM module, I decided to not do any further testing and just, uh, just assume that they are working. And uh, regarding the GSM module, we will see it anyway, because uh, the next part of the DUI security system will be about that one and setting that up for notification and stuff like that. Okay then, so basically that's it. And uh, thanks for watching this video guys. I will put the stores link into the description. And if you have any questions, then just feel free to ask in the comments or I'm open to suggestions as well. And uh, I hope you like this video and I hope you to see you next time. See ya.